Well, hello. Welcome to episode 15. Season 1, sorry, season 1, episode 15. Uh, Thank you for joining me today. We're going to attempt a pretty cool painting. This is uh, inspired by Bob Ross and several painters, or several, yeah, several painters have actually made this painting. Everybody makes it their own. Uh, It just gives us a good idea. So basically what this is, this is black gesso here. And it gives a little indication of trees, so kind of a forest. We're going to go put a mountain in here. And we're going to have a little bit of a waterfall and then some cliffs. And then like at the very bottom, more uh, water. So kind of a a different scheme. I'm going to grab my... uh, palette so I can kind of show you guys what I'm going to be the colors I'm going to be using so you can see I'm just making sure you can see this so palette this is titanium white cadmium yellow uh, sap green phthalo blue black or onyx black alizarin crimson another little bit of uh, uh, titanium white because I'm going to mix this is burnt sienna and Van Dyke Brown. So what I'm going to do is start off with, do I shake the painting? I'm going to start off with a little bit of blue so we can put our sky in there. I have a a little different setup um, that I'm going to try. I put all of my brushes in a little container. My brushes get kind of, I don't know, I guess they get kind of mixed up. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, phthalo blue. I'm going to mix it on the brush. And we're going to start in the corner. So when you're putting your, your, your sky in, it's okay. You, don't, you can start in the corner. You can make it kind of splotchy or... You know, however you want to do it. A sky is not going to be perfectly blue. It's going to have some different colors in it. And if you really want to blend it out so it's not so dark, you know, you can easily blend it in. You can you can move it. So I put um, I put a little bit of white, uh, magic white. I'm going to call it magic white. We don't want to do that. I put some white medium on it, so. Okay. And so, you see how when you get it dark, you can blend it in. This is all going to be covered up anyway, as far as down here, this is going to be like the mountain. But I wanted to do this, and I'm going to put some clouds in here. Okay. Yeah. So you can even put a little bit of the blue down here at the bottom, because this is where the water is going to be. So that way when we're... When we're putting some color in there, you'll see a little bit of the blue. And I think the waterfall is going to be somewhere around here. So, got a little bit of blue on there. I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush. It's a little tight squeeze here. Because I'm trying to get a better color angle so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into my white. Um, some of my fellow artists, they put in like clouds, like, okay, I mean, you can make clouds any way you want, so. And again, clouds aren't perfect either, so. So, 
So, you know, we can go with that. And if you want to continue, you can go. Because you're going to smooth it out, you know. Clouds aren't meant to look perfect. You can blend in the bottom. There. And that's what we're going to do for clouds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... I always go like this. So you can kind of see that. We've got some clouds going. Um, so now, I'm going to go ahead and do mountains. I don't really spend a whole lot of time on, like, the sky and clouds. So I'm going to mix some black, some blue, a little bit of crimson. And some brown. We're going to go ahead and mix this, as you can see. Yep. You have to mix them pretty good. This is going to be the mountain color. And we're going to try to do... Yeah, you want to make sure your colors are mixed pretty good. So you really want to smooth it out. A little bit of roll of paint. Let's say our mountain is going to be pretty high, so we're going to go. Okay. And, you know, we want our mountain to be pretty, all right, got to get a little bit more paint on there. do your mountains you just want to make sure they're they're as close to what you want and if you mess up just go you can actually form a new edge you can go like that because I do that all the time and, and mountains again aren't perfect so you're gonna want to make it a little better so all right a little bit more we're just gonna go ahead and huh when it when it does that means I didn't have enough paint as you can tell I didn't have enough uh, magic white on there so that's why that's not gonna and it may not move well so we'll, we'll just see we shall see yeah you can tell mountains I mean they're gonna take on any form and mountains are mountains right it doesn't really matter what goes on here um, it just matters what um, what they look like so when we put on we put on the uh, we're gonna mix a couple different colors I need to get some we're gonna have white So we got that. 
I'm going to try to use a fan brush. I saw an artist do a little bit of a fan brush, or maybe it was more of a filbert brush. And then he did, eh, I think he used a fan brush. He, he actually, no, he used a, I don't know if he used a fan brush or not. Because sometimes when I use a palette, palette brush, it doesn't work as well. All right, let's see how this is going to shake out. That one's not going to work out well. We'll go back to the palette knife. Got to remember what I did with the palette knife. I think I wiped it off and threw it back in here. I need the smaller. I need the smaller knife, people. Sorry. And like I said, this wasn't, it wasn't totally pre-planned. I saw the idea that I wanted to do. But because I don't. You know, I have all of my brushes in, um, oh, am I knocking the screen? I'm sorry. I have all of my brushes here. And so here, I want to go ahead and, okay. Okay. So. And then. Again, it's not a perfect science. There we go. There we go. You can always correct things. And so here. All right. Yeah. So whenever you do that, you just kind of go. Yeah. What I learned is that the way I'm, and, and when they say light touch, they really mean light touch. Because if you, it'll look like you're spreading mayonnaise, you know? If you don't. I will continue to work on my mountains, people. Okay. See how when you smear it, it goes. Yeah, it's whenever, whenever you like press too hard, and they always tell you that. And so we're going to put a little bit of highlight up here. All right. And so the rest really will be in shadow. So we're going to try to get a little bit more white here. Yeah, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix some white with a little blue. Make a little shadow color. Yeah. 
So here, So, and again, mountains are mountains. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, when you don't have enough liquid white on here, you can definitely tell the difference. Yeah, I'm looking at it, yeah, I mean, it, I guess it, it could be worse, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to clean this up a little bit. I mean, you can you can kind of fix it, and I'll show you how to do that. If you don't think you got a good enough coverage, all you have to do is go into your your. Yeah, it's not an exact science, trust me. Trust me when I say. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna try to do is get, get a little bit more. So, okay. yep, and then you can even do that with white. If you're not happy with it, I'll get to right now I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do some white and There we go. 
Yeah, that's as good as we're going to get, right? Alrighty. Well, you get the gist. That's our mountain. I'm going to continue to work on it, but that's our mountain. So we're going to have, we're going to go with that. And then, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on some trees. So I'm going to try and do some trees. So I got my fan brush and got some black, got some gray, a touch of green. As you can see, when we when we're putting the and as you can see, as you're as you're getting up here, you're going to give the appearance of. Because that's what you want. You want your trees. And the reason why I do the trees like that is because, you know, trees aren't going to be perfect, right? And then so what we're going to do is once we put the trees in okay I'm gonna mix that a little bit and we're gonna actually So we just want to, and then what we're going to do, once we do that, we're going to make some a little deeper, like kind of deeper green trees. So, and I'm going to find my bigger fan brush, and I'm going to... some deeper greener trees so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and So as you can see, you can kind of see the the green because we we want it to be we want it to be a little prominent. Now, when you want to make them stand out a little bit, you you, you lose use a little bit of black, okay? Because you you definitely want.
So we want the appearance of trees, right? So, like I said, this is, it's going to mimic trees, and I know you can probably see the green. Um, so now we are going to actually go into, let's see, I always, I'm sorry guys, I probably keep hitting the, the camera and you're, this, and, and you're probably like, why are you doing this? So now, because I want the I want the appearance of really really good trees, if I can find the biggest fan brush, I can or or I can use. Sorry, I don't know. Will this work? I'm just trying to find something that's going to make the tree stand out. I need a deeper fan brush, so. If I hit this camera one more time, I'm sorry. So, I come to find out most of my trees look like that. So actually, I'm going to get some, some liquid white because I want my, the green to stand out. So I'm going to bring I'm trying to scoot in between all this stuff I got without hitting the camera because I'm sure you guys love it every time the screen moves. Okay. Hey. So I'm going to have a little bit of liquid white. Okay. So now, there we go. So I want to give the, if you look at it, it gives the impression of trees. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so that's, that is the goal, okay? So that is, so now I'm going to make the cliffs. So I got the trees. If you can see the kind of, it, it may look like a ring, but there's a reason for that because when we make our cliffs, and I'm going to use a little bit of brown, actually a lot of brown, probably should have got more than that. Okay. 
to do as we want to. As you can see, you can kind of see the, I'm going to make some more. So I'm going to make a ledge. I'm actually going to get some more uh, Van Dyke Brown because I want to really, as you can see, the, the cliffs on the one side. Where's my Van Dyke Brown? Oops. I hope I don't pull the... Uh, where's my Van Dyke Brown? Van Dyke Brown. Sorry, where is it? Is this one? Yep, this is my Van Dyke Brown. Again, sorry about hitting the screen. Um, I'm going to lay this down for a second. That's a good thing about having a deep, deep garbage can so I can... Yep. Got some Van Dyke Brown. Yeah, because what we, what we want to do is we're going to make... I like waterfalls, and I'm sure you guys have seen me make waterfalls. I just saw this one, and I was like, wow, I like this one. So I'm going to try to see if I can do this. Get this, get a little bit like this. Because you, you, what you don't want to do is, I mean, not the whole cliff isn't going to be in. Again, I'm sorry, I'm hitting this again, but you, you, you want the water, and we're going to have to do a waterfall here soon because, as we, as I put the cliffs in, I'm going to do it on both sides. And. trying to get some mixture. I'm probably going to have to grab the white. Yeah, because you're going to want Right, because you not the light's not going to hit every single thing so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go into i'm going to go get my magic uh, not my magic white i'm going to get some more white because i need to mix it in i'm going to put the palette down just for a second because my arm after a long day of work i came home i had a uh you know emergency you know how anybody had flooding in their basement yeah we didn't have flooding as so much as a backup in the pipes and we all know when you get a i'll just say it sewer backup things tend to get a little dicey and let's just say i fixed the problem we no longer have a problem and um you know i found out that i'm how handy i was i mean the funny thing is when you when you get on YouTube, you'll be you'll be surprised at the stuff you learn. And let's just say I learned so much. And so now I'm going to I'm going to actually find a fan brush because I want to do I want to do uh waterfall a pretty intense waterfall see a lot of times the waterfalls that you see people do you know they're real skinny waterfalls i i like them a 
little bigger waterfalls. So yeah, I don't want green on there. The one thing I did is I forgot that I had green paint on one of the bigger fan brushes and the waterfall had green. So let's see what's going to happen when I do it like this. I don't mind a touch of blue. You know, it's okay to have a touch of blue in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of liquid white in there. Okay. Okay, so now you want the you want the waterfall to come, let's say it's going to come out of here. Okay? You see that? It kind of like and then you go you can even go So, you know, it's your, your waterfall, and then it, and you're gonna you're gonna do one of these, and, you, and you're gonna go like this because you want the water you want the waterfall to be a lake. And remember the blue that we put on before. We're gonna put some greenery, but yeah so this is the lake this is not lake this is the river that it spills into so as you know as we yeah, yeah you want to be a little bit more dramatic down here so that's going to be our um we'll just call that or like now back to the cliffs because you want to put your you want to put your cliffs in now so and then you can go like this good and, and like I said you can make them again this is your this is just your imagination you know So anyway, and, and you'll be surprised how much, how much you grow when you start, you know, doing things like the first thing I started doing when I, you know, is I started trying to like, how do I fix this? Cause I never did. I never fixed anything cause I didn't know how to do it. And then all of a sudden YouTube comes along and you're, and you find out you're kind of like an idiot savant, you know? You know what I'm saying? So then now you can do everything. So when you're doing your cliffs, obviously, you know, they're, they're not going to be perfect. 
but you want them as realistic as you can. Now, with that being said, you can mess around with it. The only thing I'm going to do is you see the edge when you're close to the edge. You just want to go ahead and Yeah, so yeah. so yeah. so that's pretty much. Um, if you want to go with wedges and okay so we got the greenery right so we have that and we have our mountain we have our sky um, so what I want to do is I, I want I probably want to put some uh, some some trees right I do I want I don't want it to be plain James so I'm going to So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to, let's see, let's do some. The cool thing about it, if you look along the bottom, it kind of makes it look like with this brush, it makes it seem like there's, you know, so then you can make, you can actually make a tree out of here and then you can make it like go along the whole thing. I just like. I want to put some greenery in like here. So you put a little greenery in there. Um, you can put a little greenery in there. That's what, you know. So you it, it, it you're gonna get some brown in there. So don't worry about that. But yeah, there you go. I mean, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to make, you know, water's coming back out of here. I can do, I can probably spread this back further, the water, so that it looks more like. I put a little blue streaks there, but um, you can keep adding to this. I kind of like it. Um, this is my, I don't know, it's simplistic. I, I'm going to probably add some more to it. I see where I could actually put more greenery in there, so I'm going to probably do that
Yeah, you want to fill this in and kind of like, you kind of want, and I want to probably put a tree in there, you know, because it does look good if there's a, if there's a big tree. <laughs> or you could leave it like this. Some people would be like, well, what about, what about the, the big trees coming over here? Well, yeah, we could do that. So what, and that's a good point. So I, sometimes I look at a painting and you're like, man, it's missing something. And so you could go, you know, you could go like this and you could say, okay, well, can I go, uh, then you're afraid. Let's see, do I want to mess with this? Do I want trees? And then you're like, nah. So sometimes you'll do that. I don't think I want to do that because yeah, you already got some um, g grasses in here, kind of like. And when you do that, you're like, oh man, I gotta put a tree in there now. <sighs> you know that. So when I did that, I'm like, oh man, now I gotta put a tree in there, a bush. Or I could go like this. Whenever you mess up, you just go. There we go. Bush. <laughs> Turns out to be a mossy rock. We can go, we can do that way. I don't mind that. And someone said, oh, well, that's, that's just like a, a, a grassy hill. All right. Well, I think that I'm going to call that one um, a completed painting. So hopefully... I, you know, if you know me, I may tinker with it a little bit, maybe do some touch up here and there, but for the most part, that's our picture. I'm going to uh, show this, and then, like I said, I, I think this is a finished painting, and we'll be good to go. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I do appreciate it. I'll do this. <coughs> try to release a new video every Friday. Did I get paint on my face? I sure did. I'm so messy. I'm sorry. Oh, I really did get. Anyway, so yeah, please like and subscribe. And again, I will try to do more content every Friday at seven o'clock. All right, please join me. And again, I, I appreciate it. It's something I like to do. I'll tinker with it. And as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.